Hey everyone, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to remove your stock air, in, air intake system um, because this would be necessary for any kind of modification that uh, modifies the, the intake like a uh, cold air in, intake system, supercharger, uh, you know, and anything like, um, you know, just uh, changing your MAF sensor, PCV, anything like that related to intake, you're probably going to end up removing this at some point. So um, I'll show you what's uh, what's necessary and what you have to take into consideration and that sort of thing. Um, basically the entire tubing system, the whole, all the induction system is held in place by um, got this clamp over here um, holding the tubing to the throttle body and there's a flathead uh, screwdriver can, can take that off. Um, then you've got this uh, PCV tubing here that goes to the valve cover. Uh, this has to be removed and uh, to get that off you simply have to pull on it but you have to be careful because it can break. Um, and then over here the sensor has to be disconnected. This is the mass airflow sensor but it also contains your intake air temperature sensor and uh, a bunch of wiring there so that's got to be uh, disconnected first. And over here, where the air box is, you've got a couple of 10 mil uh, bolts uh, holding, um, or sorry, nuts holding holding the uh, air box in place. Over here, there's a like a little, I guess, wire organizer type clip here that actually sits on top of the uh, of the nut, like so. Um, you can't get it off unless you, well the easiest way to get it off is to screw it off but you can't rotate it because this thing's connected so to get this off you got to use like um, a knife or a pick or something very very tiny, a precision screwdriver which is what I used, push the, the locking tab, um, pry, it, pry it away from the, uh, from the ribbed piece of plastic here and you should be able to pull this plastic ribbing up uh, thereby freeing up the uh, freeing up the cable once you get the cable off then you can rotate this thing to get it off so um, I'm just gonna start disconnecting things and uh, you'll see you'll see pretty much what's involved so this one here as I said just be careful it's got a uh, I guess it's a 3 eighths of an inch kind of uh, locking connector here with a, with a an o-ring on it so just leave that to the side I grab a uh, flathead screwdriver for this clamp over here. Disconnect that. That should be enough. You just need to loosen it. You don't need to completely disconnect it. Over here, you get your mass airflow connector. I always have trouble with these things. Um, I'm going to assume that it's held in place with this top piece here, so I'm probably going to need to disconnect that first. Let me see if that's the case. Grab the screwdriver. Here. See if I can get under there. Hmm. Actually. Okay, there we go. I don't know what that's. Does that help? No. Usually these connectors have some sort of a locking mechanism that you have to disconnect first before you can pull it out. Um, in this case, I'm not 100% certain whether I got... Hmm. I'll get back to you in just a second before I break something here. Let me just figure out how to get this apart. Okay, so I got it off. Um, I didn't do anything extra, actually. Um, it's just that it, 
I guess it wasn't coming, but you just have to kind of pry it off. Just kind of get under it like that. It comes off. It's just it wasn't forthcoming at the beginning. I think it's really just this this gray clip you have to deal with. Just pry that back first, and that should unlock it. I, I think that's really all you need to do for that. Um, now over here, you got these, as I said, these 10 mil sockets. But the problem is, you need deep sockets to get at them. So I'm using a wrench because I don't have a deep socket handy. Just get in there with a 10 mil wrench. Undo that. Just fast forward this. Okay, so now that I've gotten the uh, this, the bolts off there, um, you can take the you can take the air filter cleaner over the top of it off, but first we have to um, get these these clips disengaged. So there's one clip on this side over here. Okay, that one's free. And then one over here. Okay, that one's also free. So now the top of the air box is free, and with that clamp loosened, you should be able to rotate and remove the entire tubing sub-assembly here. So um, after taking off the tubing, which as I said, just kind of rotate rotate the tubing up like this and twist off the throttle body um, you'll be left with this which is you know the bottom half of your air box air filter element and uh, as I said remove those two nuts there I just did that now after that you should be able to pry up the complete air box uh, problem that I ran into is you've got these metal washers that have like an integrated rubber um, bushing underneath them I guess for vibration damping or something and one of them was like really really stuck on on the thread on the post so I couldn't get the box up um, but theoretically it should come up so if your car gets stuck like mine just use the brute force method and just reef on the on this bracket and try not to break anything and get that come up and then like I said you should be able to just pull up and lift the entire air box out of the engine compartment at this point. Um, also, because you know the brilliant people at GM, you know how how they uh, <laughs> they decided to you know organize the uh, engine compartment or what have you. Um, this connector here, which is part of the air conditioning system, um, is like right right behind the air box. So you could easily break it if you don't disconnect it first so I highly recommend that you do that um, so that you don't break anything um, and that's pretty much it there's a grommet down there which you may remove if you if you need to use that hole or you can just leave it there it doesn't matter um, but now that you've got this whole area freed up you can install your aftermarket colder intake system or or whatever you're gonna do but uh, this is Pretty simple procedure for removing your air box and now you've got all this space. Just make sure that you do something about the PCV because you can't just leave that dangling there. You've either got to reconnect it to your new intake or uh, put a breather on it or something because um, otherwise you'll get crankcase gases and oil and stuff in your engine and you could have a fire or some other problem. So just make sure you deal with that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks a lot guys. Like, subscribe, comment.